So you know that building your email list is important, right? Because in terms of how you think about your funnel, you've got traffic coming in the top, you've got email list in the middle, and you've got conversions and upsells, downsells, cross-sells, whatever, happening at the bottom of the funnel. So you know that building your email list is important, and you're getting traffic to your website, you're already producing content, but the problem is you want to grow your email list faster. Well, how can you do that without producing more and more content? Welcome to another edition of 5-Minute Mat Hacks where I give you bite-sized actionable tips and walk you through the process of how to take action on the tip, how to implement it, get results fast in 5 minutes or less. may not be 5 minutes right now, working on the timing, but bear with me. Let's jump right into it because today I'm going to show you the dumbest but most stupid effective, may not be grammatically correct either, but most stupid effective lead magnet idea ever. And again, this is super effective for solving the problem of, okay, you're getting some traffic coming into your blog, you're getting some traffic coming into your website, maybe on an educational landing page, and you want to incrementally grow your email list, but you're looking for a new opportunity, something that's easy, that seems like a low-hanging fruit. Well, I have the perfect solution to help you grow your email list faster and how to really have a compounding result over time. The solution is the read later widget. That's what I call the read later widget. So I stumbled upon this idea back in 2014 when we started putting out content regularly on a weekly basis. Once a week we publish one in-depth article and we still do that today every Tuesday on our blog. And I wanted to grow our email, email list faster. We're starting with just 500 subscribers and really those 500 subscribers were just people that I knew personally. So it was almost like I was starting from scratch. Um, and I wanted to grow that to 1,000, 2,000 and beyond. So how did we get to 12,000 subscribers, 12,000 active subscribers today, I should say, um, and over 25,000 unique opt-ins? Well, the Read Later widget is responsible for over 5% of that growth. And let me kind of show you exactly what it is. And the reason why it's, it, it's just so dumb is in the sense of that it's, when I explain this to you, it, it's just, it's gonna sound very obvious. Like, oh my God, like that makes a lot of sense. Well, what it is is, for example, if you look at one of our old blog posts here, you can see it embedded right on the blog post here. It's an embedded form where I ask readers, hey, you might be busy, maybe you wanna leave, you're just skimming things over, maybe you wanna read a copy of this later on. So enter your email here and I'll send you a copy of it and you can read it later whether you just want a reminder or whether maybe you're coming home on the train from work and you wanna read it later on in the evening um, or you just wanna refer back to it as a reference later on. Just enter your email and we'll shoot on over to you. And just to give you a sense of the results from this, so. I haven't actually I stopped doing this I don't know I don't know why I stopped it but it's something that I think that we'll have to start doing again because it's it's so effective you know we did it on 24 different articles actually a little bit less than that and as a result we brought in over 1300 new subscribers just from these widgets alone so you can see how that's responsible for over 5% of the total number of opt-ins and we only did it on those on those 24 articles right so let me show you an example of of how the stats look for one of our top performing read later widgets well the first thing that, that you'll notice is how the number of entries that we got on the widget kind of goes up and to the right and that's because the organic traffic to this particular blog post increased over time and you're going to see that with pretty much everything um, that you do in terms of marketing especially you're going to see Pareto's 80 20 principle at work where most, uh, most of the opt-ins that we get from the later widgets come from just a small handful of those 24 places where we embedded it. And you can see that the average conversion rate for this page in terms of people actually opting in was about 1.2% on average. Now that may not sound like a lot, but when you take into account that these opt-ins are coming in over time, and you may have other 
tactics that you're using to collect email subscribers on the page, for example, other opt-in opportunities, offering a free course, a pop-up, for example, and other tactics that I'm going to talk about later this week, this can really add to your email list growth over time. And substantially, as you can see from here, just from this one blog post, which is several years old, we brought in over 500 subscribers alone over the course of a couple of years. All right, so here's the one action that I want you to take from this video. Because in the following video, coming up on Wednesday, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to create your own read later widgets. I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a matter of minutes. And again, the biggest benefit to this is that you don't have to create any new content. It's really about convenience for your reader and it gives you that opportunity to get people on your email list so they can form a relationship with them. And people who are on your email list from my research and my testing are at least two times more likely to buy from you. All right, so here's the one action coming up for the next video on Wednesday. I want you to go and I want you to sign up for a couple of tools that are gonna make this possible for you. I want you to go sign up for wufu.com if you're not already a member or a customer of that. It's free and what wufu does is you can create forms using wufu and this is the tool that we'll use to create the read later widget form and then embed it onto your blog post. The second tool is Zapier. You want to go to zapier.com, Z-A-P-I-E-R, and sign up for a free account there. Zapier is what is going to take those emails that are entered into those forms and then put it onto your, put those uh, email opt-ins onto your email list from Wufu, all right? So that's what you want to go do for the next video. And if you're ready to take it to the next level, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to our free newsletter so you never miss another Matt Hack and subscribe on YouTube if you're watching us there. If you're watching this on our blog, you can click the link directly below this video to get on our email list and you'll never miss uh, one of our five minute Matt Hack videos. All right, um, so that's the next step. And as a member of our email list, you'll also get access to exclusive offers that we don't put out to the general public for some of our more advanced trainings, all right? So I'll see you in the next video. Tune in next time, all right, tune in next time. Uh, and you'll get that tutorial, all right? So I look forward to seeing you then. Keep hustling, stay focused. Talk to you soon.